Police in Laval, Quebec are announcing a new initiative unit to crack down on organized crime. This comes after a shooting at a hotel earlier this month that had many witnesses, including children. The victim allegedly had ties to the Montreal Mafia. Here with a look at the state of the Mafia in Canada and what this new police unit can potentially do about it is CTV Public Safety Analyst Chris Lewis. Chris, great to have you here today. Good morning, Ben. Okay, so it's called the Projet Répercussion. Uh, and it's a joint task force between the Quebec police, provincial police, and the RCMP. What's it going to be doing, and how is it different than the way the police have been operating in the past? I don't know that it's going to be all that different. I mean, it's an announceable politically. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows their commitment to, you know, repercussions, appropriately named, uh, because of the violence that's occurred recently in Laval and, and throughout Quebec uh, in relation to the traditional organized crime or the mafia. Uh, but police always work together. They always share information. They investigate. They cooperate. And, and they combine forces. But... Now, this particular one's focused mostly around murders that have happened recently there. One very high profile in a hotel where there's kids and, mm -hmm. and folks, families present. Uh, so there is some greater concern. But the mafia is going through uh, some changes in Quebec and right across Ontario as well. As the old guys are dying off, they're either dead or they're in jail or they're dying of natural causes. And there's a resurgence of people trying to take over. All right, well, let, let's talk about what the mafia does. Because I, we were talking before that my father was on in the 70s on something called the Cliche Commission in, the, in Quebec that was investigating and rooting out the mafia in the provincial um, construction landscape. Right. Uh, where do, what pies do they have their fingers in today? They've got their fingers in everything from uh, prostitution, uh, drugs, narcotics, uh, contraband tobacco and alcohol, uh, fraud, loan sharking, money laundering, gambling. So in still way. very present. Very. And then so-called legitimate companies, whether they be construction or otherwise, they use to launder money through and they get kickbacks and all sorts of things as a result of that. So it does impact broader Canada, not just people within the mob that ultimately live in danger. Uh, there's, there's larger impacts right across the country. Now, this, this hotel shooting was the first of three escalations uh, in, in eight days in the Montreal area. Um, does this go back to what you were saying about how there are, there, there are younger guys coming up the ranks and trying to take over? Exactly. There was a, was a couple of main families in the Montreal area way back when. Uh, Vic Rizzuto, who is very well known as a very uh, leading uh, member of the mafia in Montreal, he died in 2013. And so over time, there's been a resurgence of the mob trying to really take over what Rizzuto used to be in charge of. There was enemies then, there's more enemies now. And you have a shelf life if you're involved in the mafia. Yeah. And some of them have reached a shelf life, and we've seen it in Ontario as well. Toronto, Hamilton, and, and all of Niagara Peninsula. So, the, uh, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned this. So Toronto, we wanted to talk about, so where are they besides Montreal, you're saying? Toronto, Hamilton, anywhere else that, uh, that they have? Toronto and Montreal were traditionally the hubs in Canada. Yeah. A, a, a big uh, piece of uh, the Toronto uh, mafia was located in uh, Hamilton. And really? There were some very high profile homicides there, but it spread out to Alberta, British Columbia, really across the country. They had their fingers in various pies, but the main hubs are still Toronto, Montreal, and then a little bit in the Western Canada. Chris Lewis, thank you so much for being here and sort of shedding some light on something a lot of people don't necessarily know about. Always a pleasure, Ben. Appreciate it.